If we didn't need another reason to have a beer, well, try this. Today is National Beer Lovers Day, and we couldn't think of a better way to celebrate than to talk to a local brewery. So here this morning to talk with us about their beer is Rhinelander Brewing Company's general manager, Sarah Martin. So good morning, Sarah. Hi, good morning. Thanks for being with us this morning. So first off, what kind of effect has the pandemic had on your business? Yeah, so luckily we were fortunate enough to not have to shut completely down during the pandemic. Uh, we were able to stay open for carry out beer, so that was really good to help us kind of stay afloat during that time. Um, the staff was mostly temporarily laid off, so that was kind of hard for everyone, but since we've been able to open back up, um, we've been doing great. We're a really big tourist destination, so um, despite COVID-19, it seems like people are still coming up to the area and we, we're getting plenty of traffic. So. Well, that's great news. I'm glad to hear that things have been going well lately. So what kind of beers uh, does a brewery offer? Yeah, so about half of our menu consists of beers that we make right on site um, in the brewery. So we have a small microbrewery on site. Um, these beers aren't available anywhere else and they're not mass produced, canned or bottled. Uh, so we um, have a portion of this menu changes frequently. We're coming out with new flavors and styles all the time. And we make a large variety of ales and lagers. Pretty much the only thing we don't make are sours and ciders. Uh, the other half of our menu is made down in Monroe, Wisconsin. So these are our beers that are going to be mass produced. These are the ones that are going to be bottled and canned, the ones that you're going to be finding in stores. Great. So it sounds like a lot of variety there. I'm wondering what kind of beer would you recommend to someone who's maybe never tried your beer before? Yeah, so if you're coming to the tap room, we're definitely going to recommend that you try any of our hot egg beers, and those are the ones that we make on site. Um, like I said, you can't get them anywhere else, so if you're in our tap room, that's going to be the time to try those ones. Um, they're definitely our, our pride and joy there. You said that uh, you're a lot of the time you're brewing new beers and trying new flavors, so how often do you usually make these new creations? Yeah, so we have a pretty small brewery, but we're able to do about two to two to four flavors in progress at any given time. So that's usually what we have going on. Um, they're staggered so that we're kegging a batch about once a week. Um, a batch is typically one to three barrels of beer. So when we um, finish brewing one, we put another flavor on. So typically start to finish beer takes about a month to make. And so there's a lot of planning that goes into the beer, especially if the beer is seasonal and we want it to be done at a certain time. Um, Mostly we beer brews that we've made before, but every probably month or so, we do come out with something completely different. So right now we have a, um, a Belgian double that was barrel aged and it's only our second barrel aged beer we've ever tried and the first one was an Irish red. So we're really excited about that one. Uh, we try to um, incorporate it into the menu if it ends up being popular more often. And when that flavor runs out, the next one goes on tap. This keeps our menu fresh and make sure that there's something for everyone, something new every time someone comes in. Sounds great. And if someone wants more information on the Rhinelander Brewing Company, where can they go? Well, our information is uh, best found on Facebook. We post everything there, new flavors, events. Um, you can find our tap menu there in real time, anytime. Um, if you don't have Facebook, you can go to our website. That's the second best place to look. We have our events, um, our hours, and our updates on our website as well. Oh, great. Thank you for all that great information. That's all for our questions this morning, but we really thank you for joining us. Sure, no problem. Thank you. Great. All right, and we're going to go ahead and celebrate National Beer Lovers Day here. Sarah was kind enough to give us the big double dag to try out, and it's their Belgian double. It's a barrel-aged beer. And she did mention that this is only their second barrel-aged beer they've ever made, so it'll be fun to try this new creation, and we're going to let it let you know what we think of it. Yeah. So, Marissa. Ready? Here we go. We a got already spaced poured. out cheers. Cheers to you, Peter. All right. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's tasty. It is. It's what almost got like um like a smoky malty. Right. I was gonna to say it. maybe like caramelly almost yeah. too. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a little like toasty. 
Yeah. But it's very, very tasty. That's delicious. Yeah, it's very flavorful. And I just love the can, too. How cute is the can? The <laughs> yeah. art design the, on that is The hot egg on it with the barrel, his little crown, uh, quite a king. So, yeah, this would definitely be a wonderful one to try. And I know Sarah mentioned that um, any of the hot egg beers are ones that they do make um, here in Rhinelander. So, yeah, yeah. it would be very fun to try to celebrate National Beer Lovers Day. Very unique. Yeah. I don't think I've ever tasted a beer just like this one. So, yeah. definitely get out and try it. That's excellent. All righty. Well, our thanks to Rhinelander Brewing Company.